In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome comic book text effect, and that's right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Adobe Photoshop open and you've created a brand new canvas, we're going to begin by just filling in the background with a color. So we're going to go to the paint bucket tool, and then we'll go to the color picker and select a color. Now I'm going to select blue, and then we'll just select the canvas. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new layer. So we'll go layer, new layer. We'll press OK on this layer. And then we're just going to go over to the gradient tool. Now on the top bar of Photoshop, you'll see there's these different boxes. You've got five different boxes and we want to select the second box. Now we'll go back into the gradient color editor and we're going to change the color on the left and the color on the right. So I'm going to change the color on the right to a light gray and the color on the left to black. Now from here, you want to place your cursor in the very middle of the canvas and you just want to drag this out to one of your corners. Now from here, with layer one selected, you want to go up into filter on the very top bar of Photoshop. We'll scroll down to pixelate and we'll select color halftone. Now inside of color halftone, you want to change the maximum radius to 30 and then you want to change channel one, channel two, channel three and channel four all to zero. So we've got 30, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we'll press OK on this. And as you can see, we've got this really cool circle halftone effect happening. Now with that layer selected, we'll press the button that says normal. And we'll go down and we can scrub through to find a blending mode that you're happy with. So in this example, I'm going to select soft light. And once you're happy with that, we can just lock these two layers. So select layer one and press the padlock, select the background layer and select the padlock. And this basically means whenever we're moving anything in the foreground, the background is not going to move. Now from here, we need to go ahead and create a brand new shape. So we'll go to the left hand side of Photoshop and we'll select the pen tool. Now on the top bar of Photoshop, we've got fill and stroke. In the fill, we're just gonna select white to begin with. And then in the stroke, we'll just add a yellow stroke. Actually no, we'll change that to black for now. And then we'll just increase the weight of this. And then we're just going to draw out a shape on the middle of the canvas. Now I'm going to do this popping star shape. It's not the cleanest shape in the world, but it will do for now. Of course, you're welcome to create any shape that you like. Now from here, we need to go ahead and add some text. So we'll press the T icon on the left of Photoshop. We'll click anywhere in the middle of the canvas and we'll just type out a word. So I'm going to type out POW. We'll select all of that layer, select all of the text, and then we'll change the color from white to yellow. And then we'll just change the font to something more comic book inspired. At the moment, I've got this very normal and very modern font, but we want this to look very comic book inspired. So go ahead and choose a font that works for yourself. Now we're just gonna increase the size of that text from 40 to 60. We'll hold Command T on the keyboard to load up Transform. And we'll just rotate this around a little bit. And there we go. Now we'll select this text layer on the right hand side of Photoshop. We'll right click, go up to Blending Options. And inside of Blending Options, we want to go down to Drop Shadow. Turn on Drop Shadow and inside of Drop Shadow, we've got all of these different settings. So as you can see, if we increase the spread, then it's going to add more shadow behind. We can increase or decrease the opacity. We can change the size. But for now, I'm going to set the opacity to 100%, the angle to 153 degrees, the distance to 17 pixels, the spread to 61%, the size at zero, and then we'll just press OK on this menu. And there you go. That's the basics of how to create really awesome comic book inspired text effects right inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.